Hello everybody, Hellsting here, and today we're going to be looking at the HG Full Mechanics Neo Zeal from Gundam 0083. Now, uh, as we're recording this video, the only place you can really get this kit right now is at Amazon for thirteen nineteen. Now, if you want to pay a little bit more, you can get uh, this one, the Valwalla, and the uh, Dentrobian. I think I said that right. But if you want the set of those, you can go to Amazon and you can pay fifty thirty nine and you get all three of them. <clears throat> now, uh, this mobile suit was developed from the Zero GR, and then later was developed into the Neo Zeal 2. So I guess what I'll start with first is uh, articulation. Alright, now this head will go up, and it will go down, but there is no left and right. Just a little bit, but not too much. The shoulder will go up and down, both of them will. And this thrusters here will go up and down. Now in the back, the thrust the uh, fuel tanks will you know move a little bit, but not very much. Uh, now with this kit, thing I would do would be recommend would be to glue these in, and on this this little base right here would be to glue this into here. Now you can see right here you get um. An imprint of the Xeon symbol, uh, Xeon sign. Alright, well that's about it for the articulation. Now, this mobile suit does not have a lot of seam lines, or mobile armor does not have a lot of seam lines. Uh, the only noticeable one would be up here. These are the most notable seam lines, and that's basically it. So let's go ahead and move that out the way. And we'll go ahead and talk about the accessories. Now with this kit, you only get one beam saber effect, and then you get four arms, one, two for each side. You get two little figurines of the mobile suits, the um, the Zaku F2 and the um, GP03. Now, I've kind of lost the parts to this one because it's been a while since I've made this kit, and I'm just now around, getting around to review. And the other accessory is the wire. This is a pretty long wire. Now, I will not be demonstrating this because this is basically another take of this video. Uh, the reason why that is is because the connection into these forearms... I mean, the connection in these forearms are good, but the connection into, you know, the bicep and all that kind of stuff is not good at all, and it, it's hard to get. Uh, you will need a... Um, let's put that back. Uh, display base, I mean, action base to get the hands up, and you will probably need one for each hand to get you know both of them out um but then we'll go ahead and start uh put the accessories on now if you look up in here you get a peg there and you get a peg on the inside and that's where these parts here go And there you go, they're pretty much connected in. Like I so said, you just connect them into the pegs, and, you know, they're in there. Now, there's one thing I would recommend about these, though, is to, if you want to have them, pick which way you want them, and then glue them. Because you look at this one right here, which is moving around a little bit. See how whimsy that, see how, you know, weak that is? So I would recommend gluing that. Now, the other arms don't do that that much, but after a long period of time, you know, eventually they will all probably do the same thing. But I've had it, you know, in this kind of, this pose right here for a long time and I mean it doesn't you know hurt it too much um, now since they give you this little piddly looking thing I would recommend if you have the GM2 or the uh, Gerba Tetra take the beam effects from it and use it on this one and they pretty much just peg into these holes like so and then there you go you have your beam effect and the little hand things now, for the sake of the video, I am going to... Now, I know I said I wasn't going to, but I figured, well, I mean, for the sake of the video, I need to show you all this anyway. And I'm going to try to connect the wires into these arms. Now, like I said, it's a pain in the butt, but I'm going to try to do it for this video. All right, and there you go. For the sake of the video, it's in there. But you can see it's kind of drooping. There's nothing really you can do about it except for get, as I said, a display base. Just to have it, you know, up and about. Now, uh, for me, what I can see, 
this arm has a problem with that uh, staying up, and this arm has a problem with the wire staying in it. Because if you get up there to the bicep, it likes to come out of the uh, bicep. And then also don't like to stick in the hand either, so that's why I'm, like I said, I won't ever use, use it in this form. It'll just be with these out, and that'll be about it. And you might be would you might would be able to do something about that if you um you know made the wires a little bit shorter. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the beam effects that I have from my GM2 and my Gerber Tetra and put them on here, and you can see how it works. Alrighty, well that is it for this uh, review. Hopefully it was informative. Um, like I said, this is probably my second take of doing this, and I'm not going to redo another take. I'm just gonna. You know, my, if it's crappy, then it's crappy. It's just going to go up. Uh, now, like I said, I would always recommend if you have the GM2 and the Gerber Tetra, take their beam savers and put them on this guy. Unless you want to use them for those, then by all means. Uh, but like I said, with the Toggy, I mean, not the Toggy, but the um, GM2, the problem is, is it doesn't really want to hold the beam, beam savers. So I would take the beam savers from it and use it on this one if you want to use beam savers. Um. But yeah, I mean, there's not really much else I can say about it. Now I'm gonna um, you know, do some panorams of it with uh, you know, certain lights on and certain lights off, and you know, it'll be just in the same pose. Uh, cause you can see my action base, right? My little uh, rotating base has some lights. Um, that's about the only cool thing about the display base, really, is the lights. I wish all of them came with lights where you know you can see the underglow. But anyway, I might make my own, make it, make this display base into its own video at a later time or it might be after this video i don't know all right well that's it for this review i uh, hope y'all liked the video if you did you know hit that like button uh like rate subscribe and all that nice little good stuff and i will talk to y'all later um i'm just gonna let it spin around a couple times do some little lights here and there and that'd be about it for this video um yeah but anyway Talk to y'all later. Hosting sign out. Bye.